Most of my life, politicians have made the Middle East a priority in their foreign policy. As time went on, priorities shifted. What if I told you there's a place where we could tackle all these global issues at once and affect real change? The Mediterranean Republic of Cyprus has been riddled with conflict for centuries, most recently escalating in the 1950s and culminating in the division of the island in 1974. This is a 39-year-old man. 39 years on a tree would look like this. But in terms of a conflict, 39 years looks like this. Farosha, Cyprus, a six square kilometer district of Famagusta, remains vacant and crumbling, a pawn in a political struggle, surrounded with barbed wire since the 1974 conflict. My mother's childhood home is now a derelict concrete shell a refuge for rats and mice. All I know of it now is from a single photo of my grandparents' wedding day. But her dreams for returning aren't those of the ordinary refugee. For years now, she's imagined Famagusta becoming Europe's model eco-city. Varosha could be the first step in a cutting-edge collaboration between two communities on the mend. The foundation she has laid has inspired a movement of passionate and diverse visionaries, comprised of both Greek and Turkish Cypriots, as well as international experts who are all dedicated to seeing this through together. But we aren't just talking about the greening of Varosha, otherwise we'd be creating another divided city like Cyprus's capital, Nicosia. The goal is for all Famagusta citizens, both Greek and Turkish Cypriots, to benefit from the new green economy. The aim would be to preserve the rich cultural and natural heritage of both the old and new city while introducing new modes of prosperity and longevity through sustainability. With Cyprus facing economic ruin, a fresh start with Turkey may be the only hope for the country. Central to any discussion to end the island's division is Famagusta. A massive demolition and restoration project will likely be required in Barosha, the likes of which Europe has not seen since the end of World War II. Without a sustainable plan, the city could end up like this. Cyprus doesn't need that, especially while facing water shortages, soil erosion, and the destruction of its unique ecosystems. Instead, the city could become a global leader in sustainability and peaceful coexistence at the crossroads of three continents. What we have in Varosha and Famagusta is a unique opportunity to bring fresh energy to the region, to reset the global standards for infrastructure design, to change how financial independence functions on a local level, and to empower individuals to be active participants in the planning of their future. We can do all this right here, on an island big enough where people take notice, yet small enough where things get done. But we need your help. Negotiations are currently underway, and Varosha's return is a topic of discussion. Time is running out, and if there isn't a groundswell of support and preparation behind this idea, an incredible opportunity will be lost. Why is your assistance needed now? Our official launch takes place this January, which will bring together all the key people working towards this goal. We will use your donations to document, through film, animation, and writing, the efforts, hurdles, victories, and failures of this team of passionate experts, innovative thinkers, and community leaders as they rally support for this vision. We will show you how this particular blueprint for Cyprus can be modified and applied to work anywhere, even in your hometown. We'll show how the right ideas, at the right time, can be catalysts for change in times of crisis. These collected works will be used as part of a documentary film, my second on Famagusta and the Cyprus problem as well as a collection of educational videos. Please, join us in capturing this important grassroots effort to preserve not only the earth that sustains us, but also the diverse cultures that enrich us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Vasya. <laughs> I can see you move. Oh, just tell them what you're trying to say without reading that. And I'm Armando. And we're the creative team making the documentary about the Famagusta EcoCity project. Environmental disasters and fossil fuel shortages will continue increasing as the human population rises. This will only make global conflict worse unless we change our way of life. Because of Cyprus' small size and the opportunity that these political discussions provide, Famagusta and the Go City as a whole can be the perfect proving ground for these new ideas to succeed. 
Before it's too late, we need to make this documentary. We want to show Cypriots and citizens all around the world how to transform their lives with the power they have. In their, why can't I say this? The incredible opportunity and power they have. The incredible opportunity they have to transform their lives. But even if the discussions in Cyprus fail, we'll still be able to offer this adaptable, sustainable blueprint that the rest of the world can use. We have the experience, the know-how, and an array of local experts eager to help us out. And the commitment to see this project through. The Ghost City provides a poetic and ideal setting to learn from our past mistakes and move forward. But we can't do it without your help. Right now. Today. So what, you ask, will your contributions pay for? Documenting, editing, animating, uh, translators, transportation around the island, equipment, and other things that we can't even foresee right now. Please be sure to check out our rewards page. Even if you can only give one dollar. Please, do what you can to help us make this a reality. Thank you for your time and wish us luck. Thank you. Bye. Bye.